Now comes the fun part of buying a short-term rental, which is analyzing the rental income and the expenses. What's up guys, my name is Sean Connors, the Pocono short-term rental guy. I'm a real estate investor and broker right here in Pocono Mountains. And on this channel, I like to share with you all of my knowledge about what it's like owning a short-term rental business here. So if you wanna chat further about getting started and need help, just click the link below, schedule an appointment with me. So, so far we have talked about the first three steps of buying your first short-term rental on the Poconos. They are doing your market research, determining your budget and analyzing your finances, and then researching the rules and regulations in the Pocono Mountain Townships and the HOAs. Now we're gonna focus on analyzing rental income and expenses. I know it doesn't sound fun, but it's pretty amazing once you get the hang of it. For short-term rental projections, there are numerous different sites that you can use to gather the data. Personally, I like to use AirDNA because they have a direct relationship with Airbnb, which gives them access to a significant amount of information. If you want to do more research, you can use uh, sites like Price Labs, Bigger Pockets, or Mashvisor. I'm sure there are other sites out there to use, but these are the ones that I'm aware of personally. The first step in analyzing this data is determining what your ADR will be. ADR stands for average daily rate. This is the amount of money that you will be charging per night for the property on average throughout the year. You have to understand that at different times of the year, you will charge different rates. So finding the average for the year is more important. For our example today, let's use $250 a night for our ADR. You can find this information again on AirDNA, or you can do your own research, which will be very tedious. And that's going on Verbo, going on Airbnb, and actually researching everything yourself. After you find out what an estimate of your ADR will be, then you have to determine and what the occupancy rate will be. This isn't always easy to do because occupancy rates are different in different markets, obviously. In the Poconos, we are four season community, so you can rent your property all throughout the year. And also occupancy rate depends largely on the operator, the owner of the property. I always suggest that you estimate your occupancy rate more conservatively because you don't want to overvalue these numbers, which will give you a skewed return on your investment. For this example, let's say the occupancy rate will be 50% for the entire year. So now that we have our projected numbers, we can say, that our yearly income will be $45,625. With this number in mind, now we need to focus on what our fixed expenses will be. Your fixed expenses for short-term rentals will be your mortgage payment, property taxes, insurance, etc. Then you have variable expenses such as utilities, electric, gas, internet, maintenance, your repairs, supplies, property management fees if you decide to go that route and then you have other expenses such as your hoa fees professional services like legal and accounting permits licenses things like that let's throw out a hypothetical and say that all of your expenses are about 60 percent of your yearly income which would be twenty-seven thousand three hundred and seventy-five dollars with this information now we can determine what our net operating income would be you take your yearly revenue of forty-five thousand six twenty-five subtract your year, yearly expenses of 27,375 and you're left with a profit of 18,250 or $1,521 per month. This is a very realistic number to shoot for in the Poconos and it's a darn good profit in my books. You can take it a step further and assess what your ROI would be and your ROI is calculated by dividing the net operating income by the total investment or property value. It helps you to gauge the efficiency of your investment and compare it to other potential investments. Let's say you purchased a home for $450,000, 20% down, $12,000 in additional closing costs, and then you put $20,000 into furnishing the deal with a total investment of $122,000. You take your NOI of 18,250 divided by $122,000, and that gives you a 15% return on your investment, which is very good and much higher than you would get in the stock market. From this info, you can see that purchasing a home at $450,000 with 20% down can yield you a fantastic return on your investment. I do think this is pretty average for the Poconos too. One of our properties did $60,000 in 2022, and with the market cooling down a little bit, we'll do about $50,000 this year. As you can see, 
Short-term rentals in the Poconos are a very profitable business, but you have to run it efficiently. If you wanna learn more about how to get started investing in the Poconos, again, just click the link below, schedule a call with me. Looking forward to speaking with you soon. Have an awesome day. Thank you.